But so far, I've just been showing you how to add in jQuery on your index.html page. Uh, but really, that's not how you want to do it, right? We don't want to include styles like this, uh, right? What we want to do is we'd want to open up a CSS page, right? We want to include it in there. All right, we can just save it like that. Let's move that back a little bit. We'd save it like that. We'd get rid of this, and we do a link tag. href equals CSS forward slash main dot CSS. All right, then we close it. And we do something very similar with JavaScript. So we already have a script tag here, so I'm just going to use this one. Source equals JS forward slash main dot JS. And I can do that because I have a JavaScript folder, a JS folder, that contains main.js. And then just like we did for JavaScript, I grab this, move this over here, I'll save it, open up main.js, paste it in, and save that. I'm also just going to edit this, toggle the class of fonts to all li. There we go. And so we'll go back and we'll test just to make sure this is working. I'll refresh. And there you go. It is still working. And the index page is a lot cleaner now. Just a lot easier to look at. Um, but again, you know, when you're going through and you're testing something, it's definitely okay to keep it on your index page. You just want to move it, especially if somebody else is going to take a look at it or somebody else is going to have to go in there and work on it. Or when it starts getting really, really bulky, just move it all into your main.js folder. Another really cool thing you can do is you can actually split the screen. So if you have a Mac, what you can do is you can hit Alt-Command-2. And then it opens up this whole other screen right here. So I can just drag it in there and edit both at the same time. I do not know right now what the equivalent of uh, is for Windows. Um, if you know what it is and you figure it out and you have a PC, uh, please post it in the comments so everybody can see it.